this leg, with dance like first. that Game on. is becoming, well, pure theatre. Yes. We've now, we're now guaranteed 24 legs in this match. Uh, the next, uh, the fact is that somebody has to win two on the trot somewhere along the line in order to effect a result. And what a wonderful, wonderful way to try and break the throw with his third maximum. And the momentum seems to be swinging back towards Chris Mason. Shelton had a match point. But Mason came back at him and he now has clear daylight. Good cover for scented shooting. 91. And again, perfectly positioned that first dart from Shelton. 100. Normally would follow it up with at least one more, so maybe the damage, as far as Mason's concerned, somewhat limited. 100. A ton to Mason. So Mason now on 130. Shelton Which he's hit. Way back, he way did, back. It, did it in the 13th leg. Wonder if that's an omen. Yes, two treble twenties and double five, wasn't it? 20. Chris Uri 130. So Chris Mason, the chance to break Roland Shelton's throw. 15. 90. To leave. Roland 40. So Shelton, Shanghai on 20s, a must. Great first start. He'll look for the single. Now the double to make it 12, 11. Yeah. That's Shelton at his very, very best, where Mason had lined it up perfectly. Shelton pulled out the big play. shot. Chris no wonder he can't believe first. it, but he's, he's still on. urging himself on Dave. Yes, it, it was an outstanding shot under pressure from Shelton, and it has to be said, John, his, his second dart in the single was a little on the high, so I thought he was high and might have obscured a bit of the double. But he still find it. And just when we were thinking that Mason was beginning to exert 97. control, it is now Roland Shelton well, who's kicking on. I suppose it's appropriate to say that was rather like Mason, leaving himself a nice little one-footer, a put away from taking the hole. And uh, what happens, Shelton comes along and puts a 15-footer. That was beautiful, wasn't it? Took out the 120 perfectly. Mason must have thought, 100. I'll be stepping up here to gain a leg advantage and be throwing first in the next, but it just didn't happen for him. 45. And it means now that uh, Shelton has gained the throw and has got real daylight. There's the tons table. And uh, Shelton hitting a 180 at precisely the right psychological moment. I think it was a 140 called in fact, Dave. It certainly looked like a 180 from where we were, but a 140 called by Georgie Noble, the referee. So he's only on 164 instead of 124, but equally gettable. Now it is. But he, I'm not sure he'd have gone for the ball if he'd have hit the treble 18 83. with Mason being so far back. Needs a 180 now. If ever in his life he needed one, can't get one. And even that might not be enough because Roland Shelton 100. in this marathon match now is just two decks away from a place in the second round. 81 the shot. It's got to be gone for 19s. 41. Oh, Mason can't finish on 180, he's got to finish on a double, remember. And I think that's why Shelton went that way. I think he went that way, he set it up nicely, and Mason 60. can do nothing about it now. He's left himself 40. 120, which we've just seen Shelton take out, but double top will give him a 13-11 victory. Double 10, is he going to be let off the hook? Mason, the answer's no! Shelton wins a marathon by 13 lengths to 11, and it'll be Shelton against Marble in round two.